Well, yesterday I was down by about $5,000 during the day. And then today, um, after Microsoft has reported earnings, I'm now up by uh, over $1,000. You scroll down here, half the portfolio is in the red. Um, however, Microsoft is up by 2,300 as we speak. It's currently still moving. So it's up 7% um, in the day. Uh, they've just recently reported uh, their quarter three earnings which they've produced some, some, some really good numbers. Uh, they've beaten analyst estimates. Um, so stock price is currently trading at $295. And there you can see that surge at the very start of the day. And then uh, throughout the day or throughout the trading day, it's remained fairly flat. Um, but in regards to Microsoft in my portfolio, so it's currently got a 0.99% dividend yield. I've got 118 shares and an average price of $173. A total equity of just under $35,000 thanks to this morning's effort, um, which total profit is $14,400, uh, which is 70% of the total portfolio. So I invested like really early on, um, even yeah, in 2019 before, before this chart can really um, see. So that average price of $173, um, you know, it's got me a, like a lot of a lot of profit until now. I've held the company for over four years, so it's now it's now slowly showing. But we'll head over to uh, the financials of the company. Um, I'm on uh, Microsoft.com, which I find it's a lot more accurate to look at their you know press releases as opposed to any other website such as you know Yahoo Finance or or Stake because they can got they can be sort of inaccurate at times. But some of the highlights here, so the, the revenue, as you can see, up 7%, operating income up 10%, net income up 9%, and then the earnings per share is up 10%. So we'll have a bit of a, a look into this and see how they're, they're going. We'll look at the uh, income statement first. So looking onto the left-hand side, um, the revenue from all their products, such as you know Microsoft uh, laptops and things like that, so $15.5 billion dollars. The services and other other revenue, you know, such as iCloud and um, all that type of stuff, um, thirty seven billion. So, so really good numbers there, and it totals fifty two point eight billion dollars. Looking down at the cost of revenue, so the total cost of revenue is just over sixteen billion dollars, which means uh, their gross margins are thirty seven. Uh, correction, thirty six point seven billion dollars, which is really good. And then scrolling down, the net income just over eighteen billion dollars, which you know you can see from um, two thousand and twenty-two, uh, they received sixteen billion, so it's an increase in just over one point five billion dollars, roughly. Uh, earnings per share reported two point uh, four six, so two dollars and forty-six cents, um, you know, which last time was two dollars and twenty-three cents, so good increase there. Uh, moving down to the balance sheet. All right, so you've got the cash and cash equivalents and short-term investments. So with the cash, um, they've reported $26.5 billion um, as opposed to $30 billion um, in June 30 of 2022. So massive increase there, although the short-term investments have, have decreased. So it's you know $13 billion difference in each category. They've probably just swapped around a couple of, um, couple of numbers there, uh, massaging the books as they say. But looking down to total assets, $380 billion, and then the total liabilities, you know, $185 billion, which is really good. It's definitely in the assets uh, favor. All right, cash flow statements, looking at the net income. All right, so like we said before, $18.2 billion, as opposed to last time being, you know, 16.7. So an increase of $15 billion. So that's... Uh, the financials of the company. Just want to talk about one thing uh, yesterday. So the, the earnings report came out um, at the start of uh, yesterday, and and it you know everybody saw those really good earnings that they reported, and yet the stock price still you know trended down you know two point two five percent. And I was curious as to why, and I think you know the retail investors just needed a little bit of time to soak in that information, and then when they did, that's when it shot up this seven percent today. It'd be interesting to see um, how it does end up today, whether it pushes on to 8% or goes back down to 6 to 5%. Um, be waiting out for that. But in terms of um, when I'm going to buy uh, or you know add more funds into Microsoft, I think I'll wait out um, this bull run. We'll see how it goes. My target price is anything under $200, uh, as I've got an um, average price of 173 So I don't think I'll um, you know add any funds 
yet I'll, I'll wait you know until another uh, correction before I start to add but yeah let me know what your target price is you know how many shares you own uh, what your average price is uh, let, let me know down in the comments below but if you did like the video make sure you, you thumbs up and subscribe uh, it really helps out the channel and uh, I'll catch us next time